uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Metamorphosis Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well. I am feeling well on today, guys, okay? So, this is in continuance of our mama, our mother saga, okay? So, if you watched um, the most recent uh, video, well, the, 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 um, the reading that I did, like, way early this morning, okay, um, was about your evil stepmother, okay? So, this reading is going to be about your mother, Okay, for some of you, this is your real mother, but others of you, this is the woman who you were raised to believe was your mother, who may not actually be your real mother. Nevertheless, um, this is the woman you were told was your mother here. Okay, so like I said, it's going to go depending on who you are in your situation collective um this is a mother figure okay so like i said this is either your real mother or this is the woman if she's not your real mother this is the woman that you was told was your real mother but she really isn't okay so um you either could have been adopted into the family if she's not really your real mother and you were this was hidden from you your entire life and you were lied to the uh, to, um, they lied to you about this or kept this hidden from you you could have been adopted into the family how you could have been kidnapped sold you ended up with the family that you grew up around one way or another if this person is not your real mother okay but um so this reading is going to be about this mother okay whether it's your real mother or your fake mother that's this month that's the mother that we're going to be talking about in this um reading guys okay so um as i said take the messages that apply leave the ones that do not okay um remember as it relates to to what we're going to be talking about it could be the past the present the future okay and we're going to bring this all in together to see how all of these things coincide together okay um, if you all have been paying attention, um, when I started off with this the parent saga, um, I decided to just break everybody down, okay, um, in segments. So, I started off with your real father, okay, and um, in that reading, um, your real mother, okay, for those of you who the mother the the family that you believe to be your family is not your real family if you remember in the real father your real father video um information came out about your real mother being deceased and what happened to your actual real mother which if for those of you who resonated with that would make this mother here like an adopted mother or or not your real mother but you were never told this okay also in that your real father video um, your stepmother came up, okay, which is what triggered the next video about your evil stepmother, okay? Um, so this is about either your real mother for some of you all or the mother that you believe to be your mother because, you know, you wasn't told anything any different because there was a lot of things that was hidden or kept secret from you, okay? However, it's going to go for you, okay? Um... And then after that, we're going to do one more mother video because this mother breaks down into threes, okay? It's a it's an evil stepmother. It's the mother that is either your real mother or the mother that you grew up believing your mother, like an adopted mother, you know, whatever. And then we're going to do a your real mother video, okay? For those of you all who this woman is not your real mother, 
the last one is going to be about your real mother okay so this one is either either but <laughs> we're just gonna see okay because like i said for this reading right here this is going to be about your real mother for those of you all okay for some of you all others of you all this is the woman that you believe to be your mother okay guys so let's get into it y'all remember to like share and subscribe okay that is your free way to show your support uh to the channel it is greatly appreciated i do thank you all in advance okay guys so um i've already cleansed the cards the energy um did my prayer and everything okay as you can see we have some overall energy here okay so obviously the energy that we have here in the middle says mother okay this is a mother figure a mother energy here okay um the the next overall energy as it relates to this mother figure i'm seeing victim consciousness as well as alchemy okay so this mother figure okay has like this victim consciousness okay um type of an energy okay so um of course a lot of people like this is the type of woman that um the first of all with this victim consciousness type of energy this this mother figure could definitely be narcissistic okay um she definitely could have some unhealed uh wounds from her childhood in some way shape form or fashion okay which has put her in, in this victim consciousness mindset here okay um throughout this woman's life okay um she more than likely um have um whether she has uh, told you this or displayed this to you or not or what have you may have um gone through things with like in her own family with her own parents or something like that as well as relationships uh maybe abuse allegations and different things like that there's different things that put people in a victim consciousness type of mindset here okay but this mother here is quite the manipulator though okay um she actually can be very dominant and controlling and possessive and aggressive herself okay but she's she's in this victim con when it i feel like when it's convenient for her she's in this victim consciousness mindset okay um this type of mother figure has to have the first, middle, and last word, okay? Because according to her, she's always right, okay? Um, and she doesn't apologize for anything, even when she's clearly wrong and knows she's wrong, okay? Um, with alchemy being here, she alchemizes a lot of energy, okay? Um, she definitely could be an alchemist. She could definitely be into, like, uh, manifestations, uh, and different things like that. This alchemy ties into other things as well here, okay? It's, it really kind of depends on how deep she's into this alchemy energy, but she definitely could, um, it's interesting because her energy, I feel like if she is, say, uh, the, the mother, the type of mother figure who is like into occultic things, she does so secretly, okay? This is not displayed outwardly, okay? Um, because, like I said, she has this victim consciousness anyway, so she wouldn't want to be a part of anything, anything, say, like, a uh, cult, coven, secret societies, witchcraft, uh, uh, anything like that, where, um, she wouldn't want publicly known that she's into those type of things because she'd likely carry herself like she's righteous and upstanding and a pillar of community she may uh, likely carry herself like she's you know um christian saved sanctified delivered holier than thou type of energy but i'm telling you deep down this woman has um it's like a, a wounded in a way okay with this victim consciousness okay um in unhealed areas of her life here okay so there's like deep down there's like this hidden aspect of her okay um i'm also seeing a lot of fiery energy here she doesn't have to be a fire sign but she definitely could be a fire sign if she's not a fire sign she definitely works with fire 
okay for alchemizing for manifestations or what have you okay because in this alchemy here i'm seeing this blaze of fire back here and this ball type of thing even in the other energies that we're getting ready to get into okay with the kali energy i see the flames coming from her crown chakra from her head with the uh peel energy here which speaks to determination she's literally coming out of a volcano okay um you know that 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 lava that's like scorching hot that's flames it's fire okay um so if she she definitely could be a fire sign but if she's not a fire sign she definitely works with some type of fire energy okay so that brings up our next uh energies here as it relates to this mother the kali energy here you see how she has this tongue sticking out here. I'm not sure how close y'all, how well y'all can see this, okay? But this tongue is like, the, it's the tongue of a snake here, okay? I'm telling you, this woman is like a, a, a sissing, a slithering snake here, okay? Also, if you look at the necklace around her neck, it's like a skull uh, and bones like type of necklaces. It looks like a bunch of skulls that a necklace and a necklace have been made out of here, okay? Um... So there's very something very sinister about her. Also, if you look in her left hand here, she has this decapitated head of a man here, okay? This woman could um could be very a very dominant woman with an aggressive with anybody, even men here, okay? She's like a head hunter type of an energy here. This Cali energy talks about the shadow, okay? This woman is in her shadow side, her south node, okay? Her dark side type of energy, although she tries to keep this hidden, okay? If you look at this Kali energy here, um, you see her, her, her two hands here, um, right here but if you if you pay close attention there's other hands back here okay so this is like a person here with multiple arms multiple hands here or what have you these hands you know that's like on the back of her or what have you is what you know does these these sinister underhanded type of things here okay but like she's doing something with every one of these hands here okay again with this crown that's on Callie's head it's like this is a type of woman who crowns herself in some type of way okay um this very superior type of um attitude in some type of way control type of attitude in some type of way and you see the flames coming from the head from the crown uh type of energy here okay but she's with the shadow here kelly is the shadow energy here she's in her shadow side her shadow self here okay also with the peel energy this speaks to determination here okay now this woman is very much determined Okay, um, she puts a lot of determination behind everything that she does, even when she is doing that which is evil. Okay, a um, lot of motivation, a lot of determination, a lot of drive, a uh, lot of passion into the things that she is doing. Okay, um, rather right, wrong, or indifferent. Okay, um, the jumpy energy here, this is mask here, okay? This is the mask energy here. So this mother, and look, you, you see she has a mask on, but do you see all the mask around her here? This woman is a woman of many different faces, okay? She she wears many different masks, okay? She cloaks herself. She hides who she really is, okay? Um, someone who is wearing a mask, this is a betrayer, okay? This is a sabotager. This is someone who is two-faced, okay? Um, this person could be definitely very cutthroat and ruthless or low down and dirty in some type of way here, okay? Because th this is the reason why she she wears this different type of mask, okay? Um, uh, just for an example, like, you ever seen someone who, like, uh, is a completely different person? Even with the way they sound, the way they act, the way they talk, the way they carry themselves, depending on who they are around, okay? This is that type of person. Um, and depending on who they're talking to, who they're dealing with, who they're in the company of, what's going on around them, 
determines what mask this woman has on okay so she's wearing a mask she's not who she appeared to be so there's something fake phony fraudulent untrue about her and she's cloaking it she is hiding it because i'm telling you deep down inside there's something evil there's something sinister about this woman because she's in her shadow side okay even though she tries to hide it on the surface she's in her shadow side she's in her soft note okay with the, um, we have the, the Mam Lambo energy here. There's snakes wrapped all around this one. She's like in this swamp here, okay? And she's like, um, there's snakes all around her, but she's coming out of the skin of the, like the bottom half of this woman's body is a snake, okay? I'm telling you, this woman is a snake, okay? Um, this says self-sabotage, okay? So this person has done things not only to sabotage others, but even to uh, self-sabotage in some type of way here, okay? Maybe because of all this determination, maybe because of this alchemy. It is very interesting because in two different cards, and these cards back-to-back -back here with this uh, self-sabotage, the bottom half of her body is a snake. And the peel, which is a total different deck, which uh, talks about determination, the bottom half of her body is a volcano, okay? So she's like an eruption, an explosion of, uh, like, fiery, um, sinister, like, just toxic, like, because the snake is toxic, okay? Um, a snake will bite you. You understand what I'm saying? A snake is a snake, okay? It doesn't matter if, um, just like people who have, like, pet snakes and different things like that or what have you, it doesn't matter. You can care for the snake. You can be nice to the snake or whatever. You could be good to the snake. You could, whatever. That snake could still bite you one damn day, okay? Um, but yeah, so we have self-sabotage, determination, alchemy, victim consciousness, shadow, and mask here, okay? There's something that is sinister about this woman, that is hidden, that is covered up, that is secret about this woman, okay? Um, she does this, she, she, she's very much determined, okay? And she's into alchemy, so she alchemizes a lot of things in her life or around her, um, and I, you know, she's into manifestation practices, okay? Or what have you, but she has self-sabotaged in some type of way, and I, I matter of fact, feel like she has sabotaged others, okay? We also have here, Pope Joan here, okay? So this is the pontiff of possibilities here, okay? This is the possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless here, okay? So this is the type of woman who feels like she is limitless. She's so determined that nothing's going to get in her way. She don't care who she has to step on, step over, who she has to sabotage, uh, including herself to get what she wants in some type of way here, okay? Because she's in this, she's all for um, these, and these possibilities is for the betterment of herself. No one else. It's for the betterment of herself, okay? That's all she cares about here, okay? So we have here the joy uh, permitted um, mother here, okay? I am my own guru. I know the self that never change, okay? She <laughs> is like the self-proclaimed guru. That's what I'm telling you. She's like the type of person who have the has to have the first, middle, and last word, okay? Um, she thinks she is the end all, be all, the smarter than other people and everything like that. This is the type of woman that you could not like... Uh, like, it'd be catastrophic to have an argument with this woman here, okay? But this is the type of person that say, they say even in a, a setting that is like, uh, say like, say therapy, for instance. This is the type of woman, if you could go get her to go to therapy with you, this is the type of woman who would argue with the therapist, okay? Because she know better even than the therapist. You understand what I'm saying? Um, or what have you here, okay? But this is the energy that she's in, okay? And with this, I know the self that never changed. She never changes, okay? Her outer appearance can change. Her occupation could change. Her lifestyle could change. Who she is, self, 
never changes okay also bottom of the deck we have pride here this woman is full of full of vanity and pride spirit is saying here okay look at this person's face this person she could actually be attractive or beautiful or something okay she doesn't have to be ugly she doesn't have to uh she could have good hygiene carry herself in a decent way and different things like that okay but if you look at the other side of her face it looks like a a, a freaking um uh what do you call it like a corpse uh um decaying corpse here the other side of her face because that's the the wickedness the evil that is inside of her she's full of pride and vanity okay um and also behind this we have not only is she very prideful egotistical uh full of vanity we have hole in the soul here this woman has a hole in her soul okay um and all she cares about is self here. We also have resurrection at the bottom of this deck here, okay? So, um, with this resurrection energy here, this is like uh, the rising of something from the dead in some type of way here, okay? But what's interesting to me is the betrayal here. This says Aunt Nancy. That's the name of this uh, card here, okay? But this talks about betrayal, Okay? And behind that, we have level up. This woman will betray anybody to level up, okay? She's full of betrayal, okay? If this person, you know this person, well, obviously this mother energy, she has betrayed you. She has betrayed others in an effort for her to level up in some way, shape, form, or fashion here, okay? So that's the energy with this mother, guys. We're going to get into what else is going on with her, her character, who she is as a person. And 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 I feel like what we just went through is, is about her, okay? Solely about her, who she is as a person, what she has going on, okay? Now we're going to look into some other things, okay? Um, which still may tap on the, you know, the past, the present, and the future here. But we're going to start seeing some things that's going on in the now. Like, actually see what's going on with this person, okay? And again, guys, whether this is your real mother or whether this is the woman that you was told was your real mother who really isn't, okay? But for many of you all, if this person is not your real mother, you probably didn't likely begin to suspect this or, or, or you know, get an inklings and in, in things like this um, until maybe after you went through some type of awakening and different things like that or what have you. Okay? So, let's get into it here. The first card we have here is Mature Woman here, okay? Um, this could be a woman who's over the age of 60, okay? She's definitely over the age of 50 here, but this is a mature woman. Um, is the cur her current, the current energy that she is, you know, currently in here, okay? So, this is not a younger mother, okay? For those of you who are a little bit younger, who have mothers, you know, those of you who have mothers that may be listening, um who have mothers who are like in their 30s and 40s right now, okay? Um, nobody who have mothers in their 20s should even be listening to this, but um, those of you who could be possibly be listening who maybe have mothers who are in their 30s or 40s right now, this message, I mean, there could be something that resonates for you, okay? But this is an older woman here, okay? She's definitely over the age of 50. She could be 60 already or older, okay? Which would make you, which would make you uh, in your 30s or your 40s, okay? You would likely be in your 30s or your 40s for this mother figure here to be in her 50s or 60s or older, okay? So we have mature woman here, okay? I'm also seeing a message of concern, journey, marriage unexpected income here okay this mature woman received some type of message of concern some type of messages news information communication of some kind here okay that may have 
you know, shook of this woman in, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? With whatever this message of concern that she received. When she received this message of concern, she went on some type of trip, some type of journey. She traveled somewhere either with her spouse, because this woman could be married, or she traveled to go and see a married couple. Um, and this was about some type of unexpected income, Spirit is saying, okay? We have concern here courthouse Sutton wealth adjudication community this mature woman this mother she's in concern okay this I find this concern card very interesting here y'all science and symbolisms is everything if, if, I'm not sure how well y'all can see it but you see this man sitting here he's got one hand over his mouth okay like you know almost like the the one finger over the mouth the shush symbolisms or if the mouth completely covered like the person can't speak or can't talk about something that's supposed to be secret or hidden but if you look at this hand down here this person is holding Sydney is resting his hand on the the chair that he's sitting in here but he's throwing up the Baphomet horns but he's holding it down like this okay this was for woman and, and, and then you also see this is number 33 here. Master Mason number here. This mature woman definitely likely belongs to some type of uh, cult coven or secret society of some kind. There's something going on that this person can't uh, speak about. Okay. Except maybe to the pers other persons who are involved in this, in the know of this, okay? But something has this woman, this mature woman in concern here, okay? This message of concern that she received is pertaining to this courthouse, okay? Some type of documentation, information, some type of legal matter or case going on in this courthouse. She received some type of message of concern that shook her pertaining to this courthouse situation here, okay? She took this trip, this journey, she traveled, okay, because this was about some type of set in wealth. Whatever these legal proceedings, courthouse proceedings that, that she's concerned about, that, that she got a message of a concern about, that she took the trip for, has to do with sudden wealth, okay? Y'all, sudden wealth ain't no chump change, okay? Um... This is not no little bit of money here, okay? To clarify, adjudication is clarified by the married couple here, okay? So either this is a couple, like this is her and her spouse who had to appear in court here. Because even with this adjudication card, you see this man and this woman standing before this judge here. Judications is about judgments, decisions, actions being taken in some way, shape, form, or fashion here, Okay? If you look at this judication card here, look how that judge is looking. He's got a finger to the temple here. He's looking at these people down here standing before him, okay? I feel like there was some shady shit going on in this courthouse or what have you, and the judge knows it, okay? But rather, this mature woman, when she received this message of concern, she traveled to meet up with this other, with this married couple, okay? Pertaining to this unexpected income here. Something had her in concern. About this courthouse. These legal proceedings pertaining to set in wealth. Okay. Pertaining some type of judgment or decision here. Okay. I feel like there are several people in the community. That this judgment or this decision or this action that's being taken. Maybe affects. Okay. There's also. Community is right up under. Unexpected income. Okay. I'm seeing. Uh, I'm seeing upper class, middle class to, to lower class people who may have received some type of unexpected income or is respecting some or expecting some type of unexpected income as it relates to something here, okay? Which means there are several people involved in some, some shady business here, some low down dirty doings here, okay? Why is this mature woman in concern here, okay? This has, we have the coffin here. 
coffin is 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 is, is uh, symbolic to death here. Okay, something something this situation, especially with this unexpected income, this set in wealth, and everything here, these legal proceedings, this has to do with the death of someone, the death of someone who was in high honor here. Okay, this person received these message of concern that this mature woman received as it relates to this courthouse situation has to do with someone in high honor, someone who died that's in high honor here okay look at this to clarify journey in sudden wealth we get great fortune here y'all i'm talking about a lot of money okay this is not i don't feel like this is even hundreds of thousands of dollars i feel like this is millions of dollars okay um a lot of assets tied up in something here okay due to the death of someone in high honor here yeah this person was an official person here i'm seeing an official person on marriage adjudication here okay so there's someone who, and I'm also seeing a wealthy man here, okay? So the person who passed away was someone in high honor with great fortune because he was an official person and a wealthy man here, okay? This is what's been going on behind the scenes here, okay? There's something significant to a house here. There is a house here. This looks like it could even be a mansion or something here. That maybe this wealthy man who's an official person in high honor left for someone. Somebody is supposed to be a privileged lady here. I'm seeing house, privileged lady, child. Somebody can't stop thinking about this situation, about this person here, okay? This, maybe this child that's supposed to be this privileged lady here. This could be the child of this wealthy man who's an official person in high honor here, okay? Yeah, mature man, main male, main female here, message, gift here, family room, okay? Um, there's a lot of people involved in this situation here. In the distant horizon, these people are going to be in despair, though, because I'm seeing thief here. These people stole something. There is a theft. That all of these people involved partook in of this great fortune, of this set in wealth, to prevent this child, who's supposed to be this child and a privileged lady, or this child who is supposed to be a privileged lady, from receiving this house or this money or what have you here. Okay? There's a theft that took place here, Spirit is saying. Okay? Something, this person, something is significant to this, this, this mature woman is in concern. About a death that occurred of this person in a house that was left behind here, okay? She received a message of concern about some legal proceedings pertaining this high honor, this person in high honor, from this privileged lady here, okay? She traveled, she went on a trip, on a journey, somewhere, okay? I feel like maybe to meet this privilege or something, but she took some type of trip. She traveled somewhere about to, to maybe to attend some type of meeting or these these court proceedings or something pertaining to this great fortune, this set in wealth that's supposed to go to this person's child here. This wealthy man who was an official person in high honor, this this great fortune and set in wealth belongs to this child here, okay? To clarify marriage and adjudication here, I feel like this privileged lady may have been married to this wealthy man here, okay? This privileged lady would be your stepmother, okay? This mature woman, the e remember the evil stepmother, was married to this man in this wealthy man here who was an official person in high honor. That is your real father. Okay, this mature woman is the mother that we're talking about. This is either your real mother or either this is the mother if she is not your real mother, but you're just now finding this out because you was placed in this family and kept in poverty here. This is the woman that you grew up believing was your mother here. You understand me? So, so the mother that you grew up believing was your mother has been, is, it has been in, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, collusion basically with your evil stepmother to steal this great fortune and sudden wealth from this child here from you this child here okay so we have thoughts here okay so this official person okay you've been in this person's thoughts here this person thought a lot about you i feel like it left you in their will here okay maybe before they died here okay 
there's some type of judgment, decisions, actions being taken in this court of law pertaining to the setting wealth that I feel like this the the your evil stepmother that was married to this man here, as well as your uh, fake mother or either the, the 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 woman that you grew up believing that was your mother here has tried to stop you from getting here. Okay. This unexpected income, the community with a wealthy man here. This is a mature man here, okay? So this wealthy man was a mature man here, okay? He is who passed away here, okay? I'm seeing a main male here, main female, and message here, okay? Um... I feel like these are other persons involved here who also receive some type of messages, news, information, or communication about a gift. This could be other children of his as well. Like these may be like siblings of yours that maybe your real father had with, uh, you know, they may have had other kids together or something like that or what have you. Or But there's other people involved here, okay? There's a lot of people who have concerned themselves with a gift. That belongs to you, okay? You see this family room? There's a whole family, multiple families, okay? Who is worried about this gift and you not receiving this gift here, okay? But what they don't realize is that in the distant horizons, in the near future, they guys is going to be in despair. People going to be out of work, out of jobs, out of money, and all kinds of shit because of a theft that took place here. Okay? These people stole a gift from you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is even going to wind up in bad health. Because with this stolen labor here, they have vigorously worked hard here. To do something. Somebody's going to wind up in bad health because they've been working hard. To do something they've been sitting in expectation waiting on something here that they've been working on and they're gonna find themselves in poverty because they false persons who wearing a mask and not who they appear to be and they're gonna wind up in prison behind these criminal activities that that they have partook in spirit is saying okay you're prideful greedy materialistic money hungry gold digging Mother, whether your fake mother, your real mother, okay, the woman that you you were told was your real mother. All these people involved are greedy, are toxic, and are selfish. Spirit, what else is going on? What other messages do we need to know as it relates to this mother? Yeah, your your mother is now. Uh, or, you know, the, the woman that you was told was your mother, okay? Whether your real mother or your fake mother, she's now in debt. Why she's in debt is because of fraud. She partook in some type of fraud, okay? I'm seeing fire here, okay? So she definitely could be a fire sign here. There's also something on surveillance here that these people did. Any other messages, Spirit? Clarify this uh, this mature woman and concern with coughing in the house here. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing here celebrity homicide here, okay? This wealthy man who was an official person who, who had great fortune because he was in high honor that died, he was a celebrity who was murdered. Homicide is murder. Okay? He was sacrificed. Okay? He was sacrificed, Spirit is saying. I'm seeing, huh? Mm -hmm. They tried to get you to commit suicide as well. They could have tried to force you to suicide. They could have targeted you. Okay? I just seen suicide, but then all of a sudden, I, now I see assassination here, okay? It's like they could have targeted you or attacked you in some type of way to get you to commit suicide. But when you didn't, they, they sought out to sacrifice you here. Because I'm seeing assassination here. They're trying to assassinate you 
to keep you from getting this great fortune, this sudden wealth here, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing spouse slash partner here. So this is that energy with your evil stepmother here that's been going to these court proceedings here. Okay, these people tried to assassinate you. Also, this mature, this privileged lady murdered your real father here. This homicide is assassination, spirit is saying. This assassination, they literally say this celebrity homicide assassinations by spouse slash partner. Okay, spirit, what else? What else is going on here? Yeah, this was out of greed. Spirit is saying. This was greed. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing death here. So this is about a celebrity's death. This man, well, this is a wealthy man who was in high honor, who had great fortune. Who was also an official person okay so he had with him being an official person as well and having some type of celebrity status he even has ties to the government and beyond i told you his murder was by the person that he was married to his death was caused by the person that he was married that he's married to which which is your evil stepmother spirit is saying Yeah. Life insurance. Okay? This person was assassinated. There's something significant. This great fortune, this sudden wealth has to this assassination has to do with life insurance. Okay? I'm also seeing justice here. So this person's a partner, spouse is dealing with the justice system, may even be dealing yeah. Mm -mm. May even be facing, uh, look like legal charges for the murder of this man here because this was a crime of passion for greed. Spirit of saying. But the, 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 the thing is, yeah, and I'm seeing serial killer at the bottom of the deck here. This person has killed before. I feel like there's several people involved here. Even your, your, either your real mother or the woman that you was told that was your real mother who may not be, okay? And even your evil stepmother. These people are a part of something. This is what these people do. They have been sacrificing people for sacrificing, betraying people for a level up for a long time. This is shit that's been going on for a long time. They sold a soul. They make deals with the devil. They're in the pockets of the satanic powers that be. They are in these blood contracts. And they offer people up as sacrifices. This is how they get their come up. This is how they get higher positions, titles, and roles. This is how they get higher levels within their coast comings and secret societies. This is how they get more uh, uh, money, wealth, power, status, privilege, and shit. This has been going on for a long damn time. Spirits say they're serial killers. Now they in regret. Mm -mm. Somebody could be trying to run away or go on the run. Sure, what else is going on? We got a secret here. So there's definitely been a lot of secrets here. Secrets were kept from you. Like they 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 kept this secret here about the death of this celebrity here from you. Okay, this was all because of jealousy here. This person's spouse was jealous and committed homicide against your father. Okay, they've also done things to have you under mind control, to keep you under mind control, to keep you from knowing about your real father, to keep you from knowing about this sudden wealth and this great fortune, this life insurance, uh, uh, or will you know that belongs to you here? Okay, yeah. Your evil stepmother, the woman that you was told was your real mother, and all these other people involved, they belong to some type of cult. I told you, coven, a secret society. Spirit, any other messages? 
Yeah, spirits say they were accomplices. They're partners in crime, in this crime of passion and this greed. They're all accomplices. That's the reason why you got the community here. There's several people who are involved here. And I, I, I kid y'all not, y'all, when I wouldn't even be in funny when I said I'm literally seeing uh, 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 um, uh, from lower class to middle class to upper class people involved in this fucking crime. Like literally wealthy elite people all the way down to uh, regular everyday average Joe or even poor folk. You understand what I'm saying? Involved in this crime. And they, it's in, and everybody is looking to get their piece of the damn pie. Everybody is looking to get their cut of some unexpected income out of this great fortune, out of this sudden wealth. And they all have one objective, one main focus to block you from receiving this. But everybody else is supposed to benefit off of this. But you are the only beneficiary. You are the beneficiary of this. And if you have children, like you are this person's child, okay? But like if you have children, this would be for you and your child, okay? Yeah. There was abuse and neglect, Spirit is saying. This woman that you believe to be your real mother until you awaken. Abused and neglected you. Kept secrets from you. Kept things hidden from you. Also, your, 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 your father, your real father was abused and neglected as well. Mm -hmm. Now these people are feeling trapped, Spirit is saying. Yeah, these people told you lies to keep you under mind control, to keep this life insurance hidden from you. To try to assassinate you. They have been trying to blood sacrifice you as well. Or even your children. Spirit, what else is going on here? What else is going on? There's been meetings taking place here. These people have been meeting, traveling back and forth to one another, having meetings, gatherings, get-togethers, okay? Discussing, planning, plotting, scheming, strategizing, spirit is saying. Spirit, what else is going on? I'm also seeing something here about a faked death here, okay? They could have faked your death. They could have said that you were dead. That's sitting here on this unexpected income. And different things here. There's something here about a faked death. And something and something 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 about perversion here. Legal proceedings here. So definitely legal proceedings is going has been going on about uh, this unexpected income, this sudden wealth, this great fortune. Okay. This house. I believe this person, whoever this wealthy man is, left you a house as well as money. Okay? You may see something on social media. Or maybe you uh, have put something on social media, something significant to social media here. I'm seeing serial killer again here. Spirit is saying this is organized crime. This is organized crime. Okay. I'm also seeing here missing child. 
You could be a missing child as well. You could have went missing or been reported missing as a child. There's something here about missing child. I'm also seeing a couple here. I'm seeing regret here. Some type of organized crime is going on with missing children and these people. That's, that's in cults, they serial killers. This is crazy, y'all. Huh? Organized crime, missing child. Couple, regret. There's a couple that is regretting. Yeah. Whoever this mother figure of yours uh, was supposed to be a caregiver to you, but was not. Even your evil stepmother was supposed to be a caregiver to your father here. But I'm seeing caregiver in egotism here, okay? So like I said, these people are very egotistical, okay? They're full of vanity. they full of pride. They're very cocky, conceited, arrogant. They're narcissistic, okay? These people are freaking sociopaths as well. Psychopaths as well yeah they faked your death this child here this comes out on this child here they faked your death you are a missing child and they faked your death your evil stepmother here i'm seeing drugs or poisoned you could have been drugged or poisoned in your life before by your fake mother here but i feel like your evil stepmother could have drugged or poisoned your real father But I'm seeing this here. I'm seeing this is in the line here with caregiver, egotism, fake death, drugs, or poison. They faked your death, but I feel like they have been trying to, your supposed mother has been trying to kill you. They've been trying to like take you out for years. Yeah, because see, you're alive and there's been some type of cover up. Yeah, they faked your death and they said, they may have said that you died due to drugs or poisons, but you are alive. And there's a cover up that has been taking place. They faked your death and, and, and maybe they told the judge or something, uh, uh, told other people that you died due to drugs or poisons, but you are actually alive. They did this so they can steal this sudden wealth, this great fortune. This life insurance from you, this house, this money here, so, so they can get away with this fraud, Spirit is saying. Mm -mm. Which is crazy because I don't understand how they wasn't, didn't, they wasn't, um, nobody made them to produce some type of death certificate. But I mean, they ran here. Uh, uh, falsifying documentations and informations and shit any damn way. Uh, they probably came up with some type of fraudulent as a uh, death certificate too. They literally faked your death. These egotism as individuals faked your death. They said you died by way of drugs and poisons, but you have you are alive. You've been alive all this time. Look at that gift at the bottom of the deck. This has to do with a gift. That was left to you. Yeah. Family. Cover up. Family. Gifts here. These people are sick. Yeah. And they're going to be facing imprisonment. For these blood sacrifice murders. For this theft. For this fraud. Okay. You're alive, and you've been listening to your intuition about this shit, Spirit is saying. Somebody could be trying to run away now. This is crazy. Interesting. 
any other messages here here yeah there's something significant to a home here you could have been given a home as well as this sudden wealth great fortune okay you got fire and revenge here's this fire sign could want some type of revenge on you because this person is jealous of you. Whoever your supposed mother is, is jealous of you, envious of you, intimidated by you. That you would be given, left sudden wealth, great fortune, a home. Yeah, as well as money. Yeah, these people again, I keep seeing serial killer. Okay? You was left a home and money here, okay? I'm seeing water here. You could be a water sign. Or have water in your chart. There's something significant to parties. Something significant to the mountains. Maybe these people have been partying, rejoicing in celebration here. I'm seeing the devil here. These people are the devil, Spirit is saying. They try to make you put, commit suicide. This is absurd. Is there any other messages? Any other messages? I'm seeing grandparent and strangulation here. There could have been a grandparent. Talk about grandparent. A grandparent could be involved in something as well. Or something could have to do with the grandparent. Some type of strangulation being caught on surveillance. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing something about the mountains, okay? Somebody may be living. Something, something's in the mountains. Uh, uh, someone lives in a mountain area. Mm -mm. Something significant to a, a particular neighborhood as well, Spirit is saying. Mm -mm. This, this this shit is crazy. Like, seriously. Spirit, any other messages as it relates to this supposed mother, the collective supposed mother? Your supposed mother is a hustler. This is making it rain, focused on money, getting it here. Okay, this person is nothing but a hustler. I told you, they're a, a, a selfish, greedy, money-hungry gold digger. This person is materialistic, okay? But they are played out. They hustling, they game. It's played out. It's played out. Because they about to fall into debt. They about to fall into debt. Because of this fraud here. Yeah, now this person ego is bruised. That ego could have got in the way of something here. Mm -mm. Hold on, guys. We had a card that fell. Mm -mm. Your light pissed off this this person's demons as well here. I'm seeing a screenshot, getting evidence, proof, facts or something, okay? But Spirit is saying no facts. Your supposed mother never has the facts, make shit up and lies. Yeah, you could even have karmic friends involved 
are teamed up or linked up with your supposed mother. You can't trust these people. There's tensions. They in secret competition of, with uh, with you. The jealous and envious of you here. Okay, yeah. You shine brightly though, and your light irritates their demon spirit. Is saying, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing some type of dirty offer. See, dirty offer and jackpot here. Somebody, your supposed mother, a fake mother, may come towards you with some type of dirty offer. This say winning money, getting rich, inheritance, unexpected money here. This person may come towards you with some type of dirty offer, unexpected money. She's trying to save her own ass, spirit is saying. But she did you dirty. These people wanted you left out in the cold. They did things to have you under mind control. They lied to you. They told you lies. They hid things from you. They wanted you dead and gone so they could have gotten away with taking this home, this sudden wealth, this great fortune, this unexpected income from you, Spirit is saying. Spirit, any other messages um, as it relates to this um, supposed mother, to this mother energy? The mother that... that uh, people told the collective so i'm seeing town beauty here okay well the, this card says beauty here but it also says town beauty feminine fatal struggle with appearance prostitute okay i don't know if that's the energy that's what this card says y'all okay but um is there any other messages Mm -hmm. They try to they try to with ritual sacrifice here. Somebody somebody set you up to be sacrificed. Whoever your this supposed mother is set you up to be sacrificed. Spirit is saying. Yeah, she also belongs to some type of secret society. Freemason, Eastern Star, Rosicrucian, Camorra, other type of cult or coven or secret society of some kind here, okay? They set you up to be sacrificed so that they can steal the sudden wealth, great fortune here, okay? Yeah. Seeing here, lost of a loved one. They tried to set you up to be sacrificed, Spirit is saying, but your real father was sacrificed. This loss of a loved one, death, abandonment, unexpected disappearance here, war. Yeah. These people could have exiled you, sunned you, banished you, disowned you, forced you into hiding or some type of shit here. You were discriminated against, Spirit is saying. You're enslaved in a way, Spirit is saying. I'm also seeing royalty here. You could be a direct descendant or distant relation. But they tried to treat you like you were illegitimate in some type of way. They tried to strip you of your title of royalty in some type of way, Spirit is saying. Spirit, what else is going on? So I'm seeing power here. Position of authority, fame, fortune, recognition, abuse of power, loss of power. This is sitting right here next to lost loved one. Ritual sacrifice, secret society. Beauty here. Mm -mm. Any other messages, spirit? You endure childhood trauma. And they literally tried to sacrifice you. They tried to set you up to be sacrificed, Spirit is saying. Okay? You could have been abused, abandoned, orphans, kidnapped, or sold, Spirit is saying. Yeah, your supposed mother, okay, is the devil. It's chained to the devil, sold a soul to the devil, okay? It's into dark magic, whether you know it or not here, okay? It's demonically possessed, cursed, the spirit is saying. Yeah, I'm seeing secrets here. Secret agenda, secret affair, kept in the dark, secrets exposed, okay? So these secrets have been exposed here. Also seeing a children card here, okay? So like I said, you are this person's child here, okay? 
and you endured childhood trauma of abuse. You were abandoned and orphaned, kidnapped or sold, and they set you up to be sacrificed, Spirit said. What is this lost of a loved one? Yeah, I'm seeing a true secret though. Some type of investigation has to go on, or spying or questioning of authority has gone into this uh, loss of a loved one energy here, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing wealth here as well. Inheritance, acquisition, gambling or speculation, miser, okay? Spirit is also saying, yeah, I'm seeing murder here. So we know that your real father was murdered, Spirit is saying, okay? Your supposed mother, this person is a bully, okay? They're your tormentor. They use you as an escape goat. They see you as an easy target. They're flying monkeys, Spirit is saying. Yeah. Greed, corruption, this has the fall of civilization. Greed, corruption, indulgence, and ignorance. Spirit is saying. Yeah. I'm also seeing brainwashing and discrimination here, okay? So they had you under some type of mind control, Spirit is saying. They discriminated against you. They kept you under mind control. You were brainwashed, you were dumbed down, you were put under mind control, monarch programming, or something here. As a child, okay, and you endure childhood trauma because they planned on sacrificing you. Mm -hmm. Your father's death was an execution, Spirit is saying. Mm -hmm. Any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages, Spirit, about this mother? This mother energy or anything else that is going on here? This supposed mother of yours could have been abusive to you in more ways than one. This could have been spiritual, uh, physically, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. Could have even allowed you to be sexually abused as well. Is there any other messages? Any other messages, Spirit, about this mother energy or anything else going on here? So, yeah, that's what's going on here, y'all. Yeah. Your bully of a supposed mother discriminated against you to keep these secrets here because she belongs to the secret society here. You were, like I said, you were put under mind control as a child and you endure childhood trauma. Why they, they, they vigorously, they constantly try to, 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 to sacrifice you. Literally, this, this, whoever your fake, this, this supposed mother of yours is offered you up as a sacrifice. In this contract, a commitment that they're in because of this cult, coven, or secret society that they belong to, whatever the hell it's called. Okay? But this was all out of greed, corruption, indulgence, ignorance. All these people wanted their hands on this wealth. Now I'm seeing leadership here. Okay? So it says boss, leader, ruler. Any other messages? Any other messages, spirit? About the supposed mother. I'm seeing insanity here, okay? Your, your supposed mother, this person is insane. Like, something is seriously wrong with her. Delusions, hallucinations, hysteria, mania, okay? She's out of her mind, period, 
okay? But this situation has definitely caused destruction here, okay? Destroyer, sabotager, fool. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what's going on here, y'all. That is what is going on with this situation, guys, okay? As it relates to your supposed mother. Whether this is your real mother, like I've already said, or is this is just the woman that you grew up believing was your real mother because that's what you were taught. But if you were somebody, if you are the person who was like orphaned, okay, in your childhood, something happened that separated you from um, your real mother. And obviously your real father, which that information came out in that video that we did um, about your real father and how all of that occurred. And you winded up with this other family here, okay? Who obviously only took you in for the purposes of money. This is the reason why they mistreated you your entire life. This is why they've always... Uh, secluded you, isolated, well, secluding you or isolating you was in an effort to keep you hidden. They never wanted you to know who you really were or where you really come from. And they didn't want anybody else to know who you really were. So they downplay who you were as a person. Okay, especially if you, if you are, so things was done to prevent you from being uh, too smart Okay, like really accomplishing things and succeeding and excelling in certain type of ways. Okay, there was like your, your talents, your skills, your abilities and different things was like um, overlooked and hidden on purpose. So you wouldn't um, like you No, nobody like uh, like invested in you. You know, like if you you know how parents do with you, you know how you do with your children. If your kids are into sports. You support them and the sports and different things they want to play. And, you know, many of them go on to, you know, be professional athletes in some type of way uh, to some type of love to some degree. You know what I'm saying? If your your kids really excel, do really well in academics and different things, you put your support in your as a parent, a good parent, you put your support in your efforts to assuring that they get a good education and they can go to college and you know obtain a degree and get the job in the field that they want and different things like that wasn't done for you on purpose to keep you hidden a lot of things was hidden from you kept secret from you there was things that was blatantly not even told to you period even when it comes to the things that these people were into like you don't know understand what i'm saying it's secret the secret societies these cults these covens uh, even the occultic practices, uh, devil worship, witchcraft, and different things like that. Like, you could, these things were hidden from you. If you're anything about myself, you had no knowledge of any of those things until you went through an awakening. And it was all designed like that, it was done on purpose. Those of you who endured bullying and different things like that or whatever. Like me, like I was like, uh, like people can make up what they want to make up about you as an adult as to why they don't like you, why they not, you know what I'm saying? Things like that or whatever. But if you just retrace the steps of your life as far back as you remember, as young as you was through your entire life, like I was like really sad and depressed as a child. Um, or what have you like I didn't understand like why I was always like secluded or isolated like why nobody liked me why I didn't have friends or anything like like it's not natural you know what I'm saying especially when you're a kid you know what I'm saying kids don't know any better especially the younger you are to know any better to like not like certain people like when you take a bunch of kids out on the playground to play they just play they don't know not to like you know this person that person or whatever but like when like you you grew up and like even in your younger age like and it was like that your entire life that was like literally stage that was done like that on purpose that was done like that on purpose and it was all a part of the satanic ritual abuse okay even when you got to the age where you started dating and different things like that or whatever like there was things that was being controlled about your relationships believe it or not Nothing but low vibrational people were sent to you on purpose 
to purposely to, to prevent you from meeting your divine counterparts, okay? So, you know, because a lot of times when people come together with their divine counterparts or whatever, um, as, as couples, high vibrational couples, they do great things together. They go on to excel even in their relationship, okay? They have good, uh, you know, positive relationships and they build a family and they have stability and security. They, you know, and, you know, everything just kind of fall into place. Okay, like those things was like stripped from you, from having, just because they wanted to keep you hidden, just because they, nobody, they didn't want anybody to know who you really were, where you really come from, your, your real worth, who you were, your lineage, your endowment, your, your birthright. And even, like I said, and even as when as far as to like your talent, skills, and ability. So say you were someone who was really like artistic or creative or something. And say somebody could, you could have been somebody who could have like really made it at a young age and really become someone or whatever with your talent, skills, and abilities. Like that, those, those things were sabotaged on purpose. You was blocked on purpose for say, you know, um, um. Uh, getting the right like teaching coming into the to like um you know the right teachers the right coaches to like you know what i'm saying um uh, that would have the, the things that would have excelled you okay where you whether you would have made it you know what i'm saying big in the corporate world big in the industry or you know and anything those things was like blocked from you okay So many of you probably had to settle for working mediocre as jobs and you were even like attacked and bullied and done things on purpose, okay, to even sabotage your work on those levels. Your work life, your love life, education wise, everything, every aspect of your life, all because of this fucking hidden secret. They never wanted you to know that who your real father was. That you have uh, 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 um, some royal lineage, okay? That you come from wealth. They never wanted you to know those things, okay? And these people have been making money off of you. All the people that's been around you, that's been a part of this whole thing, they've been making money off of you your entire life. While you had nothing, while you had to suffer, while you had to struggle, while you had to go without. And then these people had the audacity to treat you like you wasn't shit. Look down upon you when they are the ones who set this up in your life like this. And then flipped it. Flipped it, perversed it, and reversed it, and made it seem like you, you, you was the fucking problem. The problem that they created. That they caused. These people were beyond sick. And they, they did everything in their power to just to stagnate your life. To play up in your face. Okay? They never wanted you to be anybody, succeed, progress in any type of way. They were just wasting all the years, the best years of your fucking life. Because whoever I'm talking to now, you're either in your late 30s or you're in your 40s. They wasted the best fucking years of your life. They've done nothing but waste your time, time that you can't get the fuck back. Buying their time so they can sacrifice you, okay? They've sent friends in your life that, to try, that they, they have used to try to set you up to take you out. They've sent lovers in your life to set you up and take you out. They themselves have tried to set you up and take you out. For many of you all, the attempts on your life, this ain't been a one time. This ain't just been recently. They have done this multiple times throughout your entire life. It's just to the, it's just for those of you who who has gone through an awakening, which if, if, if you're anything like myself, you started waking up around 28. By the time you was 30, you were smack dead in the middle of an awakening. You had to actually awaken. That's when all these people being together... And it's like they all scattered like fucking roaches. It's like they all just like, you know, they, they went into overdrive over time with trying to destroy you. Because once you awaken, 
it was only a matter of time that you began to put all the pieces together and you be, began to figure out, you know, who the ops was, who the liars was, the deceivers was, and everything that was hidden from you, okay? You don't even understand. This ain't even just a family matter. There are government, high-ranking officials in government who are involved in this. Wealthy, elite individuals who are aware of who you are and involved in this. I told y'all when I first awakened, like it shook me so fucking bad because I was like, what in the fuck? Because I was like, um, I was doing tarot then and I was like, I don't do readings on myself. Like just straight up do readings on myself or whatever. Um, and really and truly, I don't even do readings individually. Like not really like that or what have you. Um, like on individual people that I know personally, like if the information, like what that's what people don't understand. So like if somebody is watching me that know me personally and information is coming out, it's the information the spirit is giving me because I'm led by spirit. Okay. But you're like, just cause you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care about you enough to be sitting up worried about every aspect of your life and you and different things like that or whatever. But as I awaken, spirit began to reveal certain things to me, y'all. And so i never forget the night I was just sitting up and this was like with the beginning of my awakening and right around the time when I realized that they were targeting me and all kind of crazy shit was happening and I'm sitting there with my cards and this whole spread came out or whatever what came out I'm like bull shit and I still to this, it shook me so bad, still to this day, I remember what that, that reading was. And they had the frequency so high, I'm already telepathic, okay, and empathic, okay. So the, the frequencies were so fucking high, y'all, I kid y'all not, uh, Lord is my witness on my life. I would never lie on nobody, especially people I don't know fucking personally. I heard Queen Elizabeth, okay, the Queen of England say, telepathic, as clear as day, she is the one I've been looking for. The fuck? And I was literally looking at a spread, y'all. And it was like the shit was so fucking weird, y'all. That I remember the, the exact message that was in that reading, okay? They were going to, like, at that time, that was like some type of plan, like, to, to like... <laughs> And I, it was, it was, it, it, it shook me so bad, but at the same time, I was the fuck appalled and offended by it because I'm like, these motherfuckers are insulting my fucking intelligence, okay? Y'all, the whole spread, it was about, it was ended up about me without me even just, you know, calling upon spirit, you know, doing a prayer, you know, whatever, whatever, and laying a spread about myself. I'm just sitting here with the cards or whatever, and this, it just came out. Okay, y'all, but it was like to abduct me and, and and ship me, like literally on a boat to fucking Buckingham Palace. Because the queen wanted me as a servant. I said, these bitches have lost their goddamn mind. And in the moment, I swear for Lord on oh my life, Lord knows if I'm lying, the most high can strike me down right now because I swear to God I would not make up anything. On them people. I'm trying to tell you how it came to me. I the frequencies were so high. I heard that woman so clear as if she was sitting right next to me. She said, She is the one I've been looking for. I'm like, who the one? Looking for for what? You know what I'm saying? Because this is like the beginning of my fucking awakening. That in 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 my awakening like collided, crashed with the fact that they were targeting me and all the shit that was going on with that y'all i was so shook by that shit i'm like bullshit and then i was a you know what i'm saying i was i was a i'm like servant like what like what which my ancestors weren't even slaves servant girl Y'all ain't understand, okay? It's a lot of shit I can tell y'all that I ain't never told nobody because, you know what I'm saying? High priestesses just don't tell everything that they know, even though we, you know, we, we hold a lot of secret information, secret knowledge, cultic knowledge, and different things like that. And there's certain things that we do tell you that really may seem appalling a lot, but we're still not telling you everything that we know. You understand what I'm saying? 
But y'all, I'll never forget that day. That was so many years ago. That was so many years ago. Or what have you. And uh, it was even like several, it was so long ago that it was even like, it was, it, it was probably a few years, like several years even before uh, she passed away. Oh, I have you. But, like, y'all, the shit was wild. This shit was so wild. It was so fucking wild. Okay, y'all? But anyway. Y'all, that's, that's, that shit crazy. That's what's going on here. With your supposed mother. With your supposed mother, okay? And this woman, whether she's your real mother, or this is, this is some, the, the mother that you was told was your mother, and you ended up with this family, or whatever, she's within this family, because say this family was paid to take you in, or whatever, and keep you hidden, and all this other kind of shit, or what have you, uh, it's very interesting, y'all, because like I told y'all, I've been highly intuitive since I was a kid. I've been able to, like, astral travel, like, have, like, literally out-of-body experience. It just happened all the time when I was a kid, okay? I could literally tell you about places that I have been, like, literally, that's, it's, that it's not here on Earth, okay? That I've literally traveled and went to other places. I'm talking about seeing certain animals that here right now don't fucking exist and everything that I've matter-of-factly know exist okay but it's other places it's other worlds and different things like that. I'm, I'm like literally i so literally leave my body and go other freaking places and what have you and like it's certain things you just don't tell people because because the mindset of the people here on this earth they would just assume you're out of your mind and you're fucking crazy but i kid you not that literally i i you know what i'm saying i don't have any need uh uh there's no benefit in just making up some shit and lying okay but, um, so I just never, I just never talked about it or whatever, but, um, I never forget, like, not only was I severely depressed as a child or what have you, this is like, even, even though as highly as intuitive as I was, um, there were still aspects of things that was like hidden from me. So I hadn't gone through an awakening, obviously yet to like the big picture of everything that was going on or whatever, but I, I, I was so sad and, and depressed as a child. Like, I hated this world, and I could not explain why. I just knew that this, that Earth was an awful fucking place. I felt like I wasn't from here. I felt like I didn't belong here. I didn't fucking like it here or whatever. And then it was like other things. Like, I had this overwhelming feeling out of everybody. The woman who was, I was, that I was told was my mother, I had this, oh, I'm like, ain't no way. I always had this feeling like this woman is not my mother. And then for some reason, I always felt like I had a twin. But I just kind of, you know how people have like imaginary friends and different things like that. And, and the fact that I was like so depressed as a child, I just kind of chunked it up where like, okay, well, I'm, I was just so lonely and depressed that maybe I'm making up something in my mind, wishing I had a twin because like I would have somebody to play with. I would have somebody that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like with me or whatever, because, um, and y'all have to, you don't understand for like six years I was by myself you know what I'm saying even though there was a lot of things that took place in my life before the age of six even when it comes to like other supposed siblings that like these people had and different things like that or whatever wasn't until after I was like six you understand what I'm saying so yeah it was crazy um but I had this overwhelming feeling feeling I'm like this woman is not my mother like, this woman was never, there was never, like, loving, nurturing, caring, kind, compassionate um, type of energy that a mother is supposed to have for their child. And I just, like, overwhelmingly felt like this woman wasn't my mother. And if, at, if for some odd, fucked up reason, she was just severely messed up on the inside that she couldn't love me because this I'm telling you like this woman treated me like she hated me and out of everybody I've ever known this woman abused me the most okay I literally feel like this woman was like trained and groomed on how to abuse me okay and it was like her sole task or what have you because I endured more abuse from this that woman than anybody else that I encountered okay like um 
like as far as like when I was young, she was the only one that like felt the need, felt it necessary to beat me. Y'all need to understand, I live between like uh, residential facilities and different things that I that um, I lived in growing up or whatever. Uh, you know, being in safe custody and different things like that or whatever. In between that, I live with other people. So, like, when I finally came from Cheyenne, Wyoming, back to Arkansas, I lived with uh, who, would have, who was supposed to be my maternal grandmother. No freaking problem. That woman never had, like, felt the need to, like, beat me. And, like, even with the other... Um, the other grandmother, and she she's an ass whooper for sure. Okay, like uh, if like if either of the women ever like whipped me or beat me or whatever, it was it would have had to have been before the age of comprehension, and it was something that was right from my mind or whatever. But from the age of being able to comprehend and understand. I didn't take no beatings from them women. The only women that, I, like, the woman I took, like, like, and it was just, like, you ever seen people who just, like, is mean to children for no reason at all? Find any reason to beat them, to kill them, to be mean to them? It's just, that's who that woman was. And I'm, like, I overwhelmingly had this feeling, like, um, that one wasn't my mother. And then, I, like I said, I always felt like, and besides that, I always felt like I had a twin of some kind, but, you know, I just chunked that up to maybe that was something I made up in my mind, but I felt that as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, why I would feel like I had a twin as a kid or whatever it is, and I just, we were separated or some type of shit like that or whatever, and so I was feeling the energy of my twin as a kid, but I kid you not, like, here now, you got all this twin energy, twin this, twin that or whatever going around or whatever, blah, 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 which I never heard of anybody speaking of until I went through an awakening but I literally had that feeling when I was a kid like way young and there's like no reason to have that thought in my mind you know what I'm saying unless you know that you are a twin you understand what I'm saying but other than that y'all I was so severely depressed like I hated this world I just knew wholeheartedly that this place was some just just awful it was evil and I did not like it. I did not like it. I literally felt like I was being punished having to be here or whatever. But it was just crazy. But anyway, like I said, I've been able to foresee things for a long time, even since I was a kid. And I was actually like astro travel. I would like literally leave my body and go to like other worlds, other realms. Like there's other places like besides planet earth most of y'all don't know anything can comprehend anything except for planet earth but i'm telling you there's other worlds i've been there okay and it probably sounds weird it probably sounds like i'm talking at the side of my head i'm telling you i'm totally sober I'm not high on nothing like you know what i'm saying completely competent i'm telling you what i know like seriously there are there are like other worlds other realms okay that and I'm telling you, there's like other things there, like the 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 things that is here in this world, like the 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 the, the, the it's just it's not in the other world. Like it's a it's another feeling, it's another way. Okay, there's like other animals and different things that don't exist here on Earth and all kinds of stuff. But it's like it's like even miraculously beautiful and stuff. Like I can't even explain it. Like, but anyway. Yeah. So, let's get back to, to this. Um, Sir, what messages do we need to know about this mother? Mm -mm, the devil. She sold her soul to the devil. This is somebody who is chained to the devil. And she's chained to the devil for many different reasons. Not because just because of the simple fact that she is, is sold out, okay? But there are like, the devil come with strings attached, okay? The, the devil talks about a lot of different things from materialism to restriction, obsessions, addictions, okay? She's in her shadow self. The devil even speaks about one shadow self, okay? But it's toxicities, it's temptations, it's bad habits, it's addictive patterns of behavior, it's dark, it's sinister, it's evil, it's wicked. This woman, okay, your supposed mother is literally chained to the devil. 
Okay. So I'm seeing the Eight of Cups in the tower here. So the Eight of Cups can talk about change. It can talk about a shift. It can talk about a walking away. Okay. Um, because of your mother's toxic energy, there's something has changed here. Okay. Or maybe they did something. Either something was altered or changed. Or she did something to change something here. But it has caused a reckoning. It has caused a tower, okay? A shocking event, okay? Chaos, tragedy, a sudden upheaval in some way, shape, form, or fashion, Spirit is saying, okay? I'm seeing a hierophant here, okay? Usually a hierophant is someone who holds religious traditions in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They may be a ruler, a leader, someone in power, authority, a leadership in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. Eight of Swords. This can speak to self-entrapment, negative thoughts, doom and gloom, okay? Your, your supposed mother is a straight-up drama queen, though, okay? Um, her hands is tied in something here. Um, the, the Eight of Swords can speak to crisis, can speak to someone feeling stuck, restricted, unable to move or get out of a situation here. Uh, your supposed mother could definitely be dealing with a heavy load, okay? Could be on the brink of a collapse, okay? Having to deal with a lot of responsibility here. This person has done something over the limit they could be overwhelmed by, okay? Um, this person is dealing with some burdens, hardships, or problematic situations here, okay? Yeah. Something changed as it relates to this Ten of Coins here, okay? This is fam. The, the Ten of Coins is all about family legacy, wealth, a patriarch, a domestic duty, lineage, okay? Houses, uh, estates, um, um, privilege, security, and so forth here, okay? So the, your, your supposed mother is burdened by this some, something to do with this wealth, this large amount of money here, okay? Something has changed here, okay? Um, yeah, this tower has also caused some type of completion or an ending of a cycle or a chapter in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. Something has come to an end, okay? For something new to begin here. I'm also seeing this queen of swords here. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be your stepmother's energy here, okay? Five of Wands. This speaks to jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition, payback, punishment, payback, revenge here. I'm also seeing a Queen of Wands here. Your, this woman that you believe to be your mother is maybe a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, but I'm also seeing a Queen of Swords here, okay? So this could be that evil stepmother, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay? This person may be in a position of power, authority, or leadership in some type of way. Um, somebody could be a religious leader or just in some type of power or authority in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Spirit, what is this? Eight of Cups, um, Ten of Coins. Eight of Cups, Ten of Coins here. Yeah. They caused some type of tower. Like, they wanted to cause some type of chaos or tragedy. To bring, to bring about some type of completion or an end here. This could have something to do with the Queen of Cups here. Okay? There's a lot of face cards that's coming out here. A lot of people involved here. This has to do with this wealth here, though. Sarah, what else is going on? What is this Eight of Cups and a Coins? So these people, you is in mental conflict about this, okay? They're stressed, they're worried, they're dealing with depressed or depression, um, mental anguish, psychological trauma about this large amount of wealth or abundance here, okay? They could even be having nightmares and insomnia about this anxiety or fear in some type of way here, okay? These people collaborated together for the purposes of money here, okay? I'm seeing this with this Hierophant energy, this Queen of Swords energy here, okay? There's people that could be facing imprisonment, facing jail, okay? Because of their jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition here. Because of this theft uh, as it relates to this wealth here, Spirit is saying. Spirit, what else is going on? Yeah. 
justice here. So definitely this talks about legal matters, consequences, some type of truth or clarity coming out as it relates to uh, these legal proceedings that's going on. Yeah, I'm seeing the emperor here, okay? So definitely legal proceedings is being going on about this father, this father figure who's at the establishment here. Um, this person who's deceased who passed away here, okay? I'm also seeing the Eight of Wands here. Something is gaining momentum. I'm seeing some type of swift progress and alignment of some kind, communication, messages, news, information, something taking off in some way, shape, form, or fashion, Spirit is saying. You could be receiving some type of messages, news, information, or communication, Spirit is saying. These people are very defensive. These people who collaborated together for the purposes of money, they're very defensive. They're hostile, okay? They've done things to cross your boundaries. They're very determined, though, okay? They feel like a sacrifice is needing to be made here. And like I said, these people have tried to sacrifice you in some way, shape, form, or fashion here to, pre to try to prevent you from getting... This, this abundance, this wealth here. Spirit, what is this? Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Chariot. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Chariot. I'm seeing the Two of Swords here, okay? This could be a legal decision, okay? This could be these individuals making a bad decision, a wrong decision, going in the wrong direction in some way, shape, form, or fashion here, okay? Spirit, what is this Queen of Wands? Justice energy here with the Devil and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you were abandoned or or and left out in the cold, rejected, okay? Left in turmoil, alienated in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, harsh conditions, okay? Yeah, some type of judgment decision being made, action being taken in some way, shape, form, or fashion here, okay? We have the six of coins here, okay? So there was some type of uh, gift of generosity, kindness uh, that was left for you. These people did everything in their power to abandon you, to neglect you, to leave you out in the cold, okay? To have you with a lack of support, finances, money, resources, stability, or security. But this judgment, this decision has earned, has been made in your favor, Spirit is saying. Sir, what is this? Hierophant, Queen of Swords, Three of Coins, Knight of Wands, Energy. So this person, this Queen of Swords, this person is very cutthroat and ruthless, okay? There's a lot of gossip and rumors, slander, backbiting that's going on. So this person is also stalking or watching or harassing you in some type of way here. Some type of stalking is going on here, okay? Spirit, what is this? Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Chariot, Two of Swords here, Three of Swords, okay? So this talks about heartache, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, misery, pain, anguish, deep, deep emotional pain, grief, disillusionment, sorrow, depression, heartbreak, misunderstanding, tears, and a loss here, okay? There are individuals who are literally facing imprisonment, okay, for what they have done. Yeah. Yeah, because of your, um, I feel like whoever you are, you are highly intuitive. You're in this high priestess energy, okay? You're divine feminine. You have some type of sacred wisdom, an inner knowing here. You're illuminated in some type of way or have some type of illumination that you're diving deep, okay? You tapped into your higher self here, okay, to uncover mysteries, okay? You're listening to your intuition, following your wisdom. You're very knowledgeable as well here, okay? This one who's supposed to be your mother here, um who's in coming out as a queen of wands energy here okay i feel like because of this money because of this justice here this this legal proceedings here or what have you this person this person facilitated in abandoning you neglecting you and leaving you out in the cold in some way shape form or fashion but that's exactly what's going to happen with this person here yeah i'm seeing the seven of swords this person is a liar a cheater a thief a manipulator a con artist okay the seven of swords is is uh something is not being what it seems here uh, it's cowardly it's the done on a false pretenses is somebody who's carrying something away somebody who's sneaking and creeping around someone uh the seven of swords is about betrayal somebody trying to get away with something someone who's only focused on their own self-interest very strategic cheating lying wearing a mask okay someone not being who they appear to be spirit is saying okay 
Yeah. I'm seeing the death card here. Okay. These people really wish death upon you, Spirit is saying. Okay. Your stepmother is responsible for the blood sacrifice and the death of your real father here. Y'all know what pisses me off about this? Because I can even resonate with this reading, y'all. I just can't call back. I be doing these readings for y'all, but I just want to say this. Like, y'all, this pisses me off. This type of shit pisses me off to, like, the 10th the, the degree, okay? Because y'all need to understand. Like, for me, my own personal life, I have seen these people, like, several people who die under... Uh, 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 suspicious mysterious you know circumstances in ways or what have you okay and i know every last one of them was a sacrifice y'all need to understand that when it even comes to my fake family i have a maternal grandmother okay a grandfather the man who i was told was my father okay who all died and i know left something either for me or my child okay then you have the real father who is wealthy and left even more like left wealth we talk about wealth houses all kinds of shit to me y'all there's several people who have died like there's multiple people who have died in my own personal life who i matter of factly know left something for me and or my child okay because some things was left for my child but there's other things that was left for me period point blank okay then you look into the government where everything with like a person like me has endured here the government owes me millions of dollars for cruel and unusual punishment for torture for terrorism okay the psychological operations, the human experimentations, the mind control, the, the abuse, the neglect, the abandonment, like everything. These people owe me for pain and suffering, millions of dollars worth. That's just the government. My work alone is worth a lot of money. Okay? Not to mention, there are one, two, three. The First of all, my supposed mother's mother died and i know she left me some money my supposed mother's father died now remind you all these people were sacrifices and i know for a fact they were murdered okay talked to me right before he died left me a house i know this for a fact it's something he was working on before he died then my supposed dad who i was told was my dad okay died and uh, uh, I was supposed to be power of attorney and he had a life insurance policy that was left to me okay then you have the real father who is wealthy that literally left wealth or maybe other things to me and my daughter do y'all not understand how bad this pisses me off and you got a bunch of selfish, greedy ass people who got more than you, who just want to take, 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 and want you to have nothing, want your child to have nothing. You, you done fucked over my life. Now you have, you have tinkered your way into sabotaging and ruin even in my daughter's life. You are now even stunting her growth. I just want to get that off my chest because this shit, the more this type of shit come out in these damn readings, y'all, it just pisses me off to like the third degree, the highest degree, okay? Because this shit is crazy. And then you got people sitting around trying to sacrifice you, trying to take you out, trying to hurt and harm you, hurt and harm your child, and all this other kind of shit, just so they evil, wicked, selfish ass can have everything for themselves when them bitches got more than what the fuck you got any goddamn way. Y'all talking about people, some of these people already got money in the bank, already got wealth. Have nice cars, have nice homes. They don't even want you to have a fucking home. Many of us have some type of work ethic about ourselves or, or, or talent, skill, or ability or something that's worth the fuck money. That could generate more goddamn money. They don't even want you to have that. 
let's loan what rightfully belongs to you as an heir. These people are sick. And then you got wealthy elite, discriminating, hating, racist, whatever. Who want every goddamn thing for themselves? Who don't want you to have any damn thing at all? Because they can't fucking control you. Because they can't manipulate you. So they wear the, all these fucking sellouts around here. Have every damn thing that belongs to you. And you and your child have absolutely nothing to fuck at all. For they own ill will. Y'all this shit is. This is bullshit on a whole nother level y'all. You don't even understand. Spirit what else is going on here? And many of you all. Could be the same. Okay, there could be several people in your life who may have generously left you something. Now, you know what I'm saying? You just as much a surprise as anybody else would be, considering the fact that something was left to you from some damn body who ain't never done nothing for you in your entire life any fucking way. But it was, so don't delude and downgrade the fact. That it was, and, and here it is, that you ain't never had to fuck nothing. So you deserve it. And I'll be damned if you ain't got a bunch of selfish, greedy, evil motherfuckers who don't even want you to have that. You talk about people who didn't support you, who didn't take care of you, who didn't raise you, who didn't provide for you. No nothing. And then they died under suspicious circumstances because they were fucking murdered by the greedy sons of bitches closest to them who just wanted their hands on their damn money and every damn thing that belongs to them. Y'all, this shit crazy. Ten of Swords. Spirit said this is ultimate betrayal, okay? But this is going to end in a final chapter, a dead end, okay? A breakdown of all these people involved who stabbed you in your back, who sabotaged you, ruined you, betrayed you, was disloyal to you, okay? Because they're going to hit rock bottom. Because people, somebody is going to get locked up. Or several people could, could find themselves in prison, apprehended, arrested behind this situation because they had made bad decisions. Then they're going to be heartbroken. But these are the same people who betrayed you, who wanted the same things for you. They didn't give a damn about you. Your unsupposed mother lied to you, stole from you, and tried to play you like you was a fool when you, your intuition was telling you someone right with this bitch while she played up in your damn face. And she's the very one who offered you up as a sacrifice. I'm sitting here looking at the Empress, the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, Death, and Ten of Swords. They plan to sacrifice you, to murder you. So the murderous madness don't stop. They dead desperately want their hands on this wealth. Anything to keep from you having it. Yeah, but you're going to have success, triumph, and victory collective. You're going to have emotional fulfillment. You're going to have whole switches and dreams coming true for you, okay? And you're going to be able to rejoice in celebration because of every goddamn thing that you have endured. Because of all your hard work and your effort, okay? Because you have spoke the truth and clarity about all of this shit that you have endured. That you have, that you have gone through. That has happened to you. There are several people. You got air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, Water sign, Masculine, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Fire sign, Woman, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Air sign, Woman, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You got a lot of people involved in this shit, y'all. And somebody even called themselves being like a religious leader in some type of way. Or having some type of position of authority or power or rulership in some type of way. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so there is conflict. Arguments, fighting, fussing, cussing, disagreements, hostility, defeat. 
over the situation. Not individuals that are trying to stand their ground. <clears throat> I'm fucking with my throat shocker now, y'all. In some type of way. Trying to have courage, trying to have faith, because they know good damn hell well they lied. They know good damn hell well they stole what rightfully belongs to you because you are the rightful heir. Spirit is saying. You are the rightful heir. Mm -mm. Five of Cubs, Ace of Cubs here. So now these people in sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret. Because they wanted you dead already. They're dealing with extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions. Well, they, they, they all up in their feelings and their emotions because of the fact that you're not dead yet. Over this death of these other damn people. That they so desperately wanted this wealth over. See, these things happened in the past. Six of Cups. They've been doing heavy spell work on you as well, Spirit is saying. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Now, your supposed mother, there's a lot of conflict and defeat that's going on in these families, okay? Because there's multiple families involved. Okay. Yeah. These families can now be in a, uh, 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 you know, in in this period of non-action, in isolation, going within, in silence now, at rest, trying to take a break now. Okay. Because it's just when a decision has been made because these people know good damn hell well that they lie. You focusing on your work, your job, your occupation here. You've reached a level of mastery in whatever work it is that you do. You know why? Because you're not some selfish, greedy ass individual. You're not sitting around here in no back burner, doodling your damn thumbs, waiting for some damn body to die so you can try to take them for every damn thing they got. Like these sorry, selfish ass bitches. Yeah. You focus on your work, on your occupation here with the summer solstice energy here. This is the pinnacle of success here. This wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Good, good, good luck, good karma. Destiny, fortunes coming in for you. You in hermit mode. You to yourself by yourself on your own all alone. Spirit is saying. Yeah. But all this shit, all these secret things, hidden things, criminal activity, shady people, dirty dealings, all this shit that was going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. That's come to the light. All these things that they did in darkness. Behind your back. And yeah. And now they sitting up in, 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 in this nostalgic ass energy. Thinking back on the past. And everything that is going on. And sadness and loss and disappointment and regret. Okay. Why? Because they know they ultimately betrayed you. Now they in heartache and loss because of the decisions that they made. And there's people that could be facing in prison. Yeah. Hangman at the bottom of the deck. So these people are now in, 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 in limbo. They hanging around. They waiting to see what's going to happen. In a situation here. But I guarantee you, they still sitting around, uh, 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 beating up, teaming up, linking up, plotting and planning and scheming somebody's demise, your demise. Okay, look at this. First card that came out. Thief. Your supposed mother is a thief, but, but they're not the only one. You even got a friend that's involved here, okay? They had a friend. Your, your supposed mother had a friend of yours or ex-lover of yours steal something from you, okay? This could have something to do with, like, maybe your personal information or documentation or something like that or what have you.
Yeah, I'm seeing money here. Also a letter, okay? You could have received some type of letter about uh, uh, some money here. This letter could have come from a lawyer. There's a letter that could have come from a lawyer pertaining to a house. Yeah, this has to do with a house and some money here, okay? And you received some type of letter about this, okay? This is about this, 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 with this Lord card here. This, this wealthy man here, somebody in power, authority of leadership, okay? A ruler, a master of something here. This is about this person's death, okay? And something about a house and, a, and, and some money here. You received some type of letter. Your mother, there's several people involved in this step here, okay? But your mother, they stole your mail. They had a friend of yours or an ex-lover of yours to steal this letter that you received pertaining uh, about this house, about this money spirit scene. Yeah, these people are going to be in sorrow. They're going to be in sorrow here, okay? I'm seeing fortunes and soldier here. There was fortunes left by this soldier, this, 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 um... Your father may have been and spent time in the military, have been a soldier or something like that, or what have you. With my lady card here, this person may have had some type of disease, ailment, illness, or sickness. But even in this person's bad health, this person was killed. They were murdered. Right, it took this person out their misery. They couldn't wait for them to die naturally because they wanted their hands on their money. Yeah, look, these foes. A foe is an enemy, an opponent. They're going to be in sorrow, okay? You see how this foe dressing? Like they righteous, upstanding. Look at that woman dressing. She like she conservative, righteous, upstanding woman. Christian woman, okay? But that she is not. These people rejoice in celebration. They rejoice in celebration. Your, your fake mother, she all up in her thoughts, all up in her head about what they stole from you. Okay? Yeah. Falseness here. These people are false persons. They fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue. A liar, cheater, deceiver, manipulator, con artist. Your, your ex-lovers was false. Your ex-friends were false. Okay? Yeah. Sorry, what else? Yeah. These people ain't nothing but pleasure seekers. Pleasure seekers do shit for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, their own ill will, their own benefit, their own desire. Because they want to, because it make them feel good. I'm seeing the wife here, okay? This is your evil stepmother here, who was the wife of your uh, supposed father here, okay? Also seeing something about an old woman here, okay? This could be that... that uh, Mother energy, grandmother, or somebody here, okay? Spirit said they're the enemy. They're the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spirit, what else is going on? You're supposed to mother was in service for someone, working for someone, helping someone, doing a job for someone here, okay? Consolation here. This is a lawyer energy. There is a, even a crooked lawyer involved here, okay? I'm also seeing a scholar here, okay? So whoever your, uh, like your real father could have been a scholar of some kind. I'm seeing scholar, soldier, as well as lord here. Okay. Somebody, I'm seeing priest here. Somebody is a a, a a dark priest or priestess. Somebody could be an ordained minister or something here. There's somebody, uh, uh, somebody could hold some type of religious position. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing gifts here. Okay. Mm -mm. 
scholar gives here. You could be a scholar or the scholar energy could be of, I'm seeing a widower here. Okay. This bitch is a murderer. It's the enemy. Okay. Yeah. I'm also seeing a child here. Okay. So this gift was left to a child. You're this person's child or this gift was left to a child. Yeah, now these people in despair. Now these folks in despair here. You a sweetheart. You're someone who's kind, you're caring, you're compassionate, you're loving type of individual. Okay? These people, I'm telling you, are facing imprisonment here with the prison card being here. These people are arrogant with haughtiness here. This is someone who is arrogantly superior here. This may be your, your real father. Yeah, I'm seeing a wedding here. This is a person's wife here. This could be all these people in Brock. I'm, I'm seeing a wedding, but I'm also seeing serving here. A servant is somebody who performs duties for money. Okay? Somebody can be a sex slave or some type of shit. They might be into that freaky shit they into in these cults and clubs and shit. Yeah. I'm seeing surprise here. You might be shocked or surprised that some type of messenger comes to you, okay? Because you're going to receive some type of messages or communication. I feel like something's going to be hand-delivered to you. You may have to sign for it, show identification for it, but something is being handed to you okay yeah these people is dealing with some type of misfortune here your real mother could be dealing with some type of misfortune but really and truly not even just that person all people involved here because they've been sitting around waiting for this wealth for this abundance to come to them mm -mm. they didn't try to get rid of you in so many ways spirit is saying Okay, there's a whole lot of conversation, a lot of talk that's going on, that's going around about what's going on here. I'm seeing somebody a waiting room here. Somebody is waiting in a room or somebody was waiting. Something about waiting room. Journey, serving, reunion. Mm-mm. Melancholy here, okay. This this talks about feelings of sadness, depression here. I'm also seeing sigh here. So they sighing over this situation here, okay? These people been sitting up waiting in anticipation to get this wealth, to get this abundance, to, to I feel like they may have been even waiting for you to die, okay? Because they've been trying to sacrifice you. Spirit is saying. Yeah. So y'all suppose that mother was on this hamster wheel. I told you nothing but a hustler. Daily hustle was all about the money. Okay. We got poison here. This talks about toxic unhealthy behaviors in people as well here. Okay. Wow. Mm -mm. Financial support. Okay. Yeah. I'm also seeing here retaliation. Punishment, payback, revenge, family here. These, these people sick, man. Yeah, I'm seeing tragedy, entrapment. They tried to cause a tragedy. They tried to entrap you for money, Spirit is saying. They tried to entrap you for money. You could be coming into the realization of these things that I'm telling you. Awareness or finding out or something coming to light here, okay? I'm seeing karmic energy here. A lot of karmic individuals involved here. Talks about third party relationship, third party situations and different shit like that or what have you. I'm seeing a soul card here, okay? You see that house with this key here? This says moving, physical, location, and change here, okay? These people could have sold something that belonged to you. Yeah. Spirit is saying that you, Archangel Michael is watching over you and protecting you. You have some type of protection. You're prevented from harm. There's some type of divine intervention going on. Your supposed mother been going to some type of meetings or groupings or gatherings or uh, where there's somebody, some type of discussing or planning or strategizing that's been going on, okay? Yeah, there's a whole lot of gossip and rumors and slander that's going on as, as it relates to the situation as well, Spirit is saying. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm seeing pressure cooker here, rage ready to explode here. So somebody is enraged, somebody's ready to explode, okay? There's some type of legal situations, legal matters, paperwork, okay, that's going on here. That court paperwork file, legal situation. I think like this is legal matters pertaining to your real father's death. Or, you know, if there's multiple people who have died in your supposed family, your real family, your alleged family, like there's a lot of people who could have been sacrificed here, okay? Because this is not no one-time thing. These people have done this shit a lot here, okay? So you're just saying your real mother is a faker, is a pretender, okay? It's pretending. They fake, they phony, they fraudulent, they untrue. A liar, cheater, deceiver, manipulator, con artist that like living beyond their means, spirit is saying, okay? I'm seeing obsession here, okay? These people have this sick, twisted obsession, okay? They feel like they must have, they must indulge in this situation here. So we got Jurassic here, okay? Spirit say they did something Jurassic, extreme harsh to cut you off in some type of way here okay so what else is going on I feel like you're going to see some type of receipt, some type of proof of something here. Okay. With this financial support, this realization here. Okay. You may see some type of receipts or proof of something here. Or be shown this. Okay. I'm seeing a lockbox here. Okay. This, this family. Okay. That partook in stealing something from you, selling something that rightfully belongs to you. These legal proceedings is going on here. These people are going to be closed in, trapped. They're feeling frustrated. Somebody I'm seeing is searching here, okay? Somebody could have been searching for you. This is searching online, looking for info records here with on the table here. This could speak to some type of offer, proposal, or commitment of some kind. I'm seeing lockdown here. So you're supposed that mother could be in 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 a uh, uh, mental prison, mental conflict, mental anguish here. Somebody could actually be getting locked down, imprisoned, or confined here. Mm -mm. Any other messages here? Yeah, I'm seeing irreconcilable difference here. Final divorce here. I bet it is final if you murder your damn husband with your evil stepmother here. So I'm seeing this crickets, energy, silence, none action by all these people who are involved here. Yeah. I'm seeing a drama queen here. Thirsty causing chaos here. So this could be your, your, your real mother energy, that evil stepmother energy, or whoever else involved in this situation. Okay. There is happiness that's coming in for you. You will feel wholeness again, feel overjoyed, and be smiling again. Okay. But these people did things to threaten you in some type of way, to embarrass you, to attack your appearances in some type of way here. Okay. Uh, they could have they did things to crush you, okay? To to cause you to feel sad or broken or feeling alone in some type of way, okay? But continue focusing on your ascension. You're in your spiritual or on your spiritual path. You've had a major awakening of some kind, okay? Is there any other messages? Somebody could be trying to negotiate with you, bargain or beg here, okay? I, I don't know what there is to bargain of or about, it's, it's re especially after everything that they've done to you here, okay? So I'm seeing wish here. You're going to have some type of hope, wish, or dream come true for you here, okay? These people is chained to the devil. The devil got a hold of these people. They're being anchored and weighed down and chained by the devil here, okay? This could have something to do with some type of settlement of some kind here, greed or compromise pertaining to settlement here. These people in a wave of feelings and emotions is coming and going. Spirit is saying. I keep seeing this alien energy as well. Spirit, what else is going on? I'm seeing children, the settlement and children here. You're this person's child, okay? 
It's some type of settlement that is coming to you. I'm seeing projected future days, weeks, and months here. Okay, I'm also seeing today energy. So something could definitely be coming in very soon or happening very soon here. Spirit is saying. Any other messages, Spirit? I'm seeing access granted here. These people could have tried to gain some type of access to your social media. They could be on fake profiles, hiding, or what have you. Yeah. Somebody is trying to gain some type of access. Divine Feminine to maybe something that you have written here. A story, a journal, a diary, or something you're keeping notes on or about or something like that or what have you. So be careful of that, okay? But these people are plugged in, they tuned in, internet connected in some type of way here, okay? They're definitely dealing with some type of triggers of some kind. Spirit is saying here. Yeah, continue cleansing, okay, meditating, clearing your space, removing negativity here, okay. I'm also seeing a pop-up here, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit here, okay. If it's any one of these Decepticons is involved here, okay, pop-up or not, okay. Don't deal with these people, don't talk to these people, because ain't nothing to talk about, okay. Because um, these people know what they did to you. And these folks was literally wishing death upon you, okay, just so they can... Uh, 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 take this, this, this wealth, this fortune, this house, or whatever else from you, okay? I'm seeing journal here again with writing, diary, and keeping notes, okay? You could definitely decide to write a book, write a story or something about this shit, because I swear, y'all, this stuff that's coming out here, this, this shit, I was thinking about this other night, I'm like, this is the greatest story that ain't never fucking been told, Okay? I was literally thinking about this, okay? And like in 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 like you ain't never read a book like this, seen a movie like this, a show like this, okay? Because there's so much shit jam-packed into one damn situation here, okay? You got you got jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition, you got greed, you got fornications, adulteries, you got sneaky freaky creepy shit, low down and dirty shit, you got shady people, dirty dealings, you got evil, you got wickedness, you got witchcraft, you got secret societies, coats and covens, you got you got lying, cheating, stealing, diddling, killing, sacrificing, like y'all, it's so much shit in one damn story usually you know what i'm saying you got murder mysteries all kinds of shit usually you get bits and pieces of any one of those things in any given story okay or or movie or show this shit is jam packed into one damn story Okay, you got childhood trauma, you got drama, you got a uh, 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 crooked government. Of, I mean, like, bruh, fake family, real family. You got, I mean, y'all, y'all, this shit is a trip. This shit is a trip. Okay. I know good damn hell well when it comes to my life and the shit I've been through, baby. When I put all this shit on paper, I promise you it's gonna be a bestseller. You can believe that shit. Because this shit is great. Anyway, y'all, um, that's what's going on here. Okay? That is what is going on um, with your supposed mother. Okay? Mm -hmm. This person, this person was 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 doing everything to persevere in an effort to get this wealth. I'm telling you, and a lot of these people are gonna find themselves in confinement, captivity, tolerance, unfreedom here behind this shit. They so desperately wanted to get rid of you. And look at this friendship at the bottom of the deck. This not just about your this your your supposed mother teamed up and linked up with so many other people that is involved in this y'all these friends that teamed up and linked up together they gonna wind up the freak homeless and i don't like seeing that shit 
Because that's not, I'm like, that's not no cool shit. That's not even nothing to laugh about. Even when it comes to your damn enemies. But all these people who teamed up and linked up and was friends together and worked against you. Was hell bent on reaching a goal. Okay. They gonna, and, and wanted you homeless. They gonna find themselves homeless. Okay. Hesitation, stubbornness, fright in here. Now they fright. And depression, dealing with phobias and paranoias here, okay? But they, it wasn't that long ago that they were plotting and planning and scheming. Okay? Planning, prediction, mind reading, strategizing here. When that long ago where they was indulging with one another. Tossing it up, having drinks and different things, okay? That they was going to triumph with some sex and victory and getting over on you. And indulgement here. Do you know how many damn people? There were, there, there's a 52 in this car. As many people as involved, I wouldn't be surprised if there's 52 people who was who was who was persuaded, bribed, tempted, uh, uh, some shit to take some type of payment to go along with this shit. I kid you not. You look robbery, so that they can get away with this theft. This says robbery, exploitation. They exploited you. Unfairness and caution here, y'all. This shit crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This shit is crazy, y'all. So I thank you all so very much for listening and for watching. I got some other work to do, honey. I'm like about really tired of whoever this mother energy is, okay? Like all the mothers of energies, okay? I'm tired of them, okay? Yeah, this person, your, your supposed mother could be dealing with some type of disruptions right now, some type of chaos or tragedies or sudden upheavals in some way, shape, form, or fashion, spirit is saying, okay? But there's definitely disruptions that's going on. There's conflict and defeat that is happening here. Yeah. There's deception and envy because of your intuition here, okay? These people that ripped off their own damn mask, okay? There's deception and envy over your intuition, okay? They can't stand your good thinking ass. Okay. Because because of your intuition, you know the truth. They know you know the truth. Okay? And trust and believe, ain't nobody did you no favors, baby. So ain't nobody came along and told you nothing. And you still found out the damn truth, y'all, okay? And they feeling some type of damn way. So what else going on here? Yeah, truth. Some type of truth came out. Power, truth and power here. Some type of truth or clarity came out presenting to this person in power. Okay. Obviously, it's your real father. Okay. Here, what's going on? Heartache and loss. So these people dealing with some type of heartache and loss over the situation now. Okay. Here, what else is going on? Yeah, your third eye chakra is open here. That's why your intuition is so heightened. Okay? Yeah. Sacrifice. Truth came out about your real father's death being a sacrifice. Okay? And these people dealing with obstacles and challenges. Mm-mm. Yeah, these people in the shadows. We got the shadows here. So there's a lot of things, a lot of folks behind the scenes, behind closed doors, in darkness, doing things. Okay? Any other messages, Spirit? You're going to have some recognition and reward coming in for you. Okay? But these people have been vigorously even trying to take you out. Okay, to prevent you from knowing the truth, to prevent you from having this great fortune, this wealth. Okay, yeah, your supposed mother could be in mental conflict because of these disruptions, because of this heartache and loss in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay, this conflict and defeat, these obstacles and challenges, uh, challenges have, have something to do with this transformation that is taking place. Okay, yeah, now these folks is trapped in fear. They trapped in fear. What is this power in the shadow energy spirit? So we can wrap this reading up. 
Yeah. There is material and spiritual prosperity that is coming to you, Spirit of Sin. Yeah. Look at this. These people was in partnerships and alliances with one another. All these people involved. They was in partnerships and alliances with one another. They belong to cults, covers, and secret societies and shit. Okay? But you're going to have fulfillment of wishes coming true. Coming in for you, Spirit of Sin. Now these people discontent and boredom. Dang it. If I drop one more card here. Yeah. Hold on, guys. We had a card that fell here. What is this, spirit? So, this looks like emotional loss. Yeah, emotional loss. These folks in, okay? But you're gonna have some type of triumph, some type of uh, firm uh, foundation, spirit. You're saying. What else is going on, spirit? What else? As it relates to this situation. I'm also seeing foundations and achievements here for you. Okay. You could have stood your ground or somebody could be trying to stand their ground in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. I'm seeing emotional withdrawal. Okay. Also got authority here. So got folks in power and authority figures involved here. Okay. That could be the energy of your real father. Okay. So I'm seeing the waiting game here. So they still it's like they sitting around, they waiting on something, okay? But you you receiving this victory and success, spirit is saying, okay? Because that's a materialist harvest that's coming in for you, okay? These people, I feel like they were sitting back waiting on this material harvest, okay? But they know that you are aware with this awareness here of what's really been going on. They've been playing this waiting game, patience and planning. I'm seeing waiting game, patience and planning here. They still playing this waiting game. They still patient. Oh, excuse me. Okay? These folks suffering in silence here. Suffering in silence. Mm-mm. Any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages? Okay, guys. So, um, as I said, thank you all so much for listening, for watching. Um, if you want to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. Of course, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through cash app, dollar sign, tip diamond 36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond. Oh, honey, this is a lot. As always, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And consider the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey. Um, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Till the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Okay, guys. So I was reaching for you all a closing message real quick. <sighs> I'm seeing a spiral dancer. Here's a card that fell out here. Mm -mm. I'm seeing the metal king here, though. Okay, so this talks about discipline, armor, as well as boundaries here. Okay, so some type of discipline of some kind could be falling down upon these people and their involvement with these things that's been going on. Okay, but it's interesting. Yeah, I'm seeing the Lady of Lightning here. So this is uh, surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift here, okay? Um, mm -mm. 
and I'm also seeing here the altar priestess here, okay? Somebody's doing something at their altar here, okay? This says preparation, prayers, sacred ritual. Somebody's doing some type of satanic ritual of some kind here. Spirit is saying here. These people could definitely be getting some type of discipline for crossing some type of boundaries here, okay? You could be the lady of the lightning uh, energy here, okay? However, this could just be the energy of this overall situation here, okay? Speaks of uh, surprises, shock, a total paradigm shift, okay? Yeah, they could be shocked by you or, or surprised by your knowledge of what's going on here, okay? Um, and somebody is still, they, they still doing, even in knowing this, they still doing some type of uh with this altar priestess here so has a dark priestess somebody's making preparations for something doing some type of sacred ritual satanic ritual or of some kind here okay okay and the ice queen is at the bottom of the deck here okay somebody this one is very cold hearted like seriously okay guys as always, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Did I already say that part? Okay. I think I did already say my closing message. Okay, y'all. We're not going to go through all of that again. Um, but to the next time, guys, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.